Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Right, so let's start to take a look at Elvis on Velvet by the Stray Cats. And um, what we'll look at, it's more or less kind of based on like live versions that, that are knocking around. The recorded version, which is going to use this riff, there's also, you know, some guitar overdubs and the nature of the way that track's recorded, it's just, you know, it was just kind of off the cuff. Um, a lot of those little nuances aren't really played live by Brian, but they, they are interesting rhythmic ideas, which will definitely kind of investigate, but, you know, looking too much at small details like that in the beginning, you know, we just don't want to take away from the fun of uh, just playing the song. So, um, you know, I, I often like this idea of uh, we're in E minor, kind of basically. And I've heard a few live versions where he kind of enters, you know, we've got the, we've got the drums that start it and, and then... <coughs> which is kind of similar when we looked at Struck by Lightning. You know, the recorded version has this. So it's something similar. Just an E power chord. On the, uh, on the A, D and G. But we proceed that with that low E. And kind of slide it off. And that would come in, I guess, on so uh, one, two, three and four. going down for our low E to start the riff. And that's optional, like I say, that's just something I like. Um, what I've heard live and the recorded version, obviously. You know, after the uh, after the drum introduction, we just start with the riff. So, um, you know, we'll kind of look at this riff now and build it up in, in a few different ways. Like I say, um, there's again a ton of variations, but even what we'll look at here, there's enough to, to kind of play around with. Um, and Brian... You know, like, we're kind of in this, you know, E position, which we use in all, all kinds of tracks. You know, with my, with my index, I'm just um, barring the, the second on the A and the D. The problem is, though, is that we can often get that second on a G. We, we really don't want that suspended sound. Um, so we do have to be careful, although, um, like I say, a lot of those overdubs, it's using a bit more of that kind of meaty, kind of E, low E power chord. Um, live, it kind of, it'll tend to stick around a bit more of that low E and the, and the air, you know, the fretted air. And also just the, just the low E. Occasionally we'll kind of catch the, the fretted air. Um, so we'll, we'll just kind of look at the riff first of all, just on the low E, just to kind of get a, get a feel for it. And sort of split it into two halves and then sort of kind of connect them a little. So, um, so the first part really would be... And I just kind of naturally were these, um, you know, where the beats fall, I just kind of do down and up strokes. They're just low E's. So two low E. Uh, th third on the low E, the G. Oops. And then just three low E's, down, up, down. So that'd be like, oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So the next part. So low E, G, third under low E. And two low E's. And uh, fifth, third on low E. Third on the low E. So that's kind of the basic idea. So now we also really want to, um, so I've, I've kind of, you know, sometimes there is a little split like that. 
After that first half of the riff. Sometimes it will be kind of, you know, sometimes it'll stop there, but other times, rather than, so it's one, two, and three, and four, rather than just end on that beat four, we'll also play the end of, end of beat four and connect that to the second half of the riff. kind of single note style just on the low E. So now like I say it's trying to incorporate a bit more of the bit more of the meat from the air uh, from the actual uh, second fret of the of the air. Uh, and it's keeping that kind of down and up kind of squishy um, you know sensory. And um, so the, this little variation will do. I usually do kind of like every sort of the fourth time round of uh, of playing this riff. So imagine a normal riff. So this time we'll do. So. So the first part's the same. So those those G's, the, the third fret on the low way, they're coming in on, on like this syncopated part. So I'm kind of get, catching those on that upstroke. Operating that with the hand, the just sliding into doing that. A bit more of the kind of meatier, sort of squishy rhythm sound of the more of the chord. It's just kind of these seems like two low E's and then fretted G, two low E's, fretted G, two low E's, fretted G. Two low E's and finish like before. Five, three, or oh, three. But, so, but like I said, they're just numbers. It's all about catching those accents. So just listen, sort of play along sort of with what I'm doing and, um, you know, like I said, catch those accents on the, on the upbeat just That's a kind of more muted we can, of course. You know, a bit more kind of biting, sort of more towards the bridge or, um, you know, it's just kind of a mixture of those things. Like I say, every fourth time round, I seem to do that more um, sort of accented one we've just done. So, you know, like the introduction, like I say, we're coming with this on the air. Uh, one, two, three. Oh. And then just into the verse. And basically the same kind of idea, just playing through these like kind of groups of four and every time, every fourth time, you know, doing the more um, syncopated one with the uh, sort of extra uh, Gs, you know, the third on the low E. So kind of like the verse. Uh... So 
so yeah, then going into the chorus, I might make a few little mistakes, with, but um, just, um, you know, for, sort of in the beginning at least, just trying to maintain. Three or three, then to the A, to the chorus. So, and, and again, here there's kind of a few kind of overdubs. So, we'll just kind of really sort of get the, the real meat of what's happening. So, we go to an A. And then we'll look at how sort of some picking things now. And then we're going to, we're keeping that A, but our first sort of new note, the fourth on the, on the A, which is the third of our chord. And then fifth on the air, back to four, and then we'll go to like a, an E riff. So on this air, you could just hit the air, but there's a kind of also picking, and like I said, there's variations in where it'll play. There's a lot of brightness in this also. So you could try a few different things for picking that air, but it'll really kind of highlight some of those of the air, the D and the G string. One of the most typical you can hear is he'll, so as we we'll put on this uh, note on the fourth on the in the air. So we're going to pick the strings there. Uh, so our air's fretted. Now we're on the fourth of the air. So we we'll just play the air string, the D, the G. And now same with the put the the note down the air, uh, the fifth on the on the air. Pick the same again, A, D, G. And then kind of back to the, the fourth on the A, and I just pick that, and then the, the D string. And although sometimes I keep those fingers down as I play each one um, equally, I'll even sort of Swap them though, won't keep one fretted. I even catch that, that air back on on the on the last time. You know, there's to play around with those, and even even like I said, the brightness here towards the bridge. So our one chord, the kind of E minor. We, there's a kind of riff. It's it's um it's kind of like the main riff where we start the, and it's more of uh, in line with the one where we do those repeated kind of syncopated notes. So it's sim again. Two low E's, a G fretted, third on the low E. We're just um, finishing with low E's rather than that kind of riff from before. Time we're going to slide to this power chord B. So, um, and that'll be kind of played sometimes a bit muted, sometimes you'll hear it a bit more throaty. Back to the air. So, at this point, we're going to kind of slide into this B power chord. Sliding with a down, down, up, up, down, up. Back to the air. Not like before this low E riff. And just kind of finish. 
finish on like the, the kind of power chord in me, you know, the just the E. Low E, second fret, uh, kind of second fret, D, I guess. And then, um, that's, it, that's the air, so where we on? And I can, that's the I can seems an it on the road ahead. So the uh, first sort of kind of break now, first guitar solo break, so we'll look at that. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of this track, I'm not sure what it falls. It's sort of like straight out fans and stuff, but I love the guitar on this track. Uh, so yeah, if through that sort of kind of guitar break, we just do the main riff. Um, <laughs> And again, kind of enter with that. Um, two, three, four, one, two, three. So that takes us into the second verse, which, it's, you know, in terms of rhythm wise, it, you know, it, like I say, if we were thinking in terms of live versions, it, it'll be kind of the same now with, and then with the chorus. But I will look at those because I do want to um, highlight some of the um, the more um, dominant kind of overdubs from the lead guitar and things like that. Um, so it's just good to get grips now with this first lesson just on the, the, the kind of the main meat of the track. So you can just kind of play along to it. Um, so let's, uh, let's see what we've got there. Uh, uh, I want to. Right, yeah, we'll leave that there, and um, yeah, I want to take a listen to get those uh, the solos sort of down as well, and yeah, just play along with that. It's um, like I say, live it does have a different kind of feel than um, the recorded, but I, I kind of like the live feel on top of the recorded version. Um, yep, so give that a try. It really is a great kind of rhythm study as well. Look out for those that syncopated stuff. Just concentrate on um, being comfortable with that kind of. Like I say, this, I don't know, this, this kind of squishy. Kind of just on the low E and the, you know, this on the uh, second fret of, and then the second fret of the air. You know, not really picking hard at all, letting the muting do a lot of the, let, letting a lot of the, the, the kind of the, uh, the, all the motions at once sort of contribute towards the whole kind of sound. Right, um, so yeah, give that a try and take care and uh, have fun and I'll see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>